Good morning, and it's a new day. I'm going to be working on the, the mower trailer. Hopefully today will be more cutting, welding, and grinding, and less talking. Um, seeing how the video is about that. Um, so, uh, without further ado, uh, we'll get started on the mower trailer. So one thing I kind of wanted to show you is a lot of the picture didn't show what we had before. And so this is how these are connected. And they go through, they go in, and then this bolt slides through. And that's what holds the whole mechanism on. It's a really cool idea because let's say you know, the boat manufacturers only needed a trailer, you know, this long then they've still they've already got the bolt holes pre-cut or say it was to be a longer trailer with an extra axle there would be holes all down it and then they could put those wherever they needed to be it was a pretty good idea as far as trailers go um, I did get some welding done the other day now I'm gonna grind and I'll get a piece inside of here and another two cross members there a couple of cross members there weld it up I am going to weld this so I can get these bolts out of here that way it's not affecting the deck at all One thing we get in this area is we get a lot of wind. One thing I gotta do is uh, pull that whole piece off the tongue because it's not fitting right because they bolt, everything's bolted, pre-welded level with the rest of the frame. I'm using a wire wheel because I don't want there to be a lot of sparks because of the wind. The welding's gonna be putting out enough sparks. for the camera so I try to block as much of the arcing as I can. It's uh, an ultraviolet lens. <laughs> I don't know what 
someday get an actual bandsaw, but now I don't even got the room for it if I could find one. bend which is really going to change things on the and then they got this curvature in here so it will make it kind of tough few ribs on there and uh, um, I ran out of cutoff blades so I'm gonna have to run to the store and get some of those um, so uh, we will be back tomorrow it's a new day and I am turning the boat trailer around so that I can get some of it into the shop so I can do work on it. I will be trying to work on those front ribs, getting those all into place, getting them cut, welded in at least. It's kind of in the evening. We had high winds today, so 
I really couldn't do anything due to the fact that I got to kind of work outside and the wind was blowing in an unusual direction, which would have made it hard for you to see what was going on. So I waited until the wind died down enough to where I could actually start working. So, so let's go ahead and get it started. Well, my first piece is going to be a little bit different here. It might fit this a little bit loose, but uh, I'm pretty sure I can make it work. So what I want to do is put kind of a bend here. And this is the only piece that's going to be like this. Okay. Okay. Now, with this, let's see, better get my jack stands. I really don't walk like walking in between ribs and stuff, but it's what you got to do. So I'll get some filler metal and uh, we'll fill it in so that we can get it to fit the way we want to. Alright, that was 
it's gonna be the, I thought it would be a little tougher than that, but actually uh, worked really good. And uh, you're not a lot better than I thought it would. What, working with this old stuff, you know, it's hard to get the best of welds. I mean, I probably could have cleaned it off a little better. It's just a mower trailer. When I actually get into uh, building trailers, and my welds will be a lot more uh, precise, and uh, and so will the metal that I use. Uh, right now, I'm working with old, rusty crap. You, you do the best you can with what you got. So, all right, so I'll get the next piece in and uh, we'll continue on. I come across this tape measure. It's called a uh, Savage. It's pretty cool. It's got a very different end. It's got a magnet on it, I think. It might be a magnet, I don't know. I've... No, but I wish it was a magnet. Um, but uh, it does, it slides up and down so you could work the tape either way. So it makes it kind of cool uh, if you need to get a measurement and you can't quite get it. And she has some strength to her. So she'll get out there, you know. A little bit. But the nice thing is, is she can go both ways. In case you need to, you know, do an underneath measurement to where you got to catch it underneath. Um, that works pretty good too. Like right up there and hook it onto the bottom of this. I can do that. So I like this tape working with metal uh, because you can hook into those parts, get those measurements to where you're fighting a regular tape measure that's just got the hook. And then like with this tongue I was talking about, it's bolted here, it's got a bolt back here. I don't know what it's connected to. It looks like there's a piece out. And I imagine once I get the, the, the deals underneath this, um, which I'll, I'll do out there, then I'm gonna get in here. I'm either gonna have to cut it but see, there's a brake line here, so that makes it kind of tough. But uh, I need to get in here and try to clean all this up. Because this just isn't fitting right, so the tongue is going up in the air and the frame is going straight. All right, where was my lock? Here. And we will go to the upside. I've got... 49. All right. I'll get some lights going on here. All right. We have light. Not a lot of light. I'll have to get some more light in here. Revitalize the whole shop. All right. So I have. Let's say 49, 49 and an eighth. Okay, so head.
bad for eyeballing it. All right, let's see where she wants to get up. Oh, that looks good. So, got all the ribbing done. We've still got to do the tongue, finish up on redoing the lights. I've got to get the ramp on and then do some one or two cross members. Um, I do plan on doing some runners down where the wheels of the lawnmowers are going to be just to give some extra reinforcement to the decking. Oh, and put in the stake pockets so that in the future I can build the walls for it. So, I think that's enough for tonight, and I will get everything cleaned up. And on that note, thank you for watching, and if you like that video, check out that one.